have a, a bit of a monumental day today because today's the 500th episode of the Agassino Zingo show. That's 500, 500 zero, zero episodes of me talking to myself through a microphone into a computer and then getting out to you, wherever you may be, a podcast, you know, application you're using, watching it through YouTube or whatever it may be. 500 episodes. Absolutely nuts, right? That I've been able to do this for this long um, during, you know, for this, um, yeah, for this long and for to be this consistent. It might be the only thing in my life consistently in terms of a project, in terms of something like, I would say has a tad hint of artistic expression creative endeavor um imagination involved that i actually committed to doing for what's this seven plus years or whatever it is i've been doing this podcast it's absolutely insane and i can't thank any of you out there more than i'm gonna thank you now for any of the good feedback i've been getting bad feedback i've been getting i don't really mind it i think you know in general because i've been on the internet for a lot of my life i know how it is and i know if you put yourself out there and you present work and you're proud of it you are going to get people that love it you're going to people that get a hate and some people are going to be in between but regardless i kind of you know um appreciate all the comments all the views have a little have a larger maybe i think the fact that you're giving someone like myself a chance and listen to what i have to say is absolutely insane considering the plethora flipping uh people out there spouting their nonsense i know how i how i know how picky i am with the time that i spend online and who i spend it with um i know sometimes i could just see someone's face or or flipping a thumbnail and i could be like nah not for me and move on so the fact that you guys see my ugly mug and you still want to click and you still want to listen and you still want to engage you still want to like you still want to share you want to comment you want to send me a dm on instagram you want to send me stuff and whatever it may be i had people sending me things like it's absolutely nuts right just to, to, to see that and i really really appreciate it and i don't know like i said like i said before in episode one i started this legitimately as like a weird form of therapy as you guys can know, or as you guys have probably been able to surmise, as you've seen me talking on this podcast for, you know, years and years, if not months and months or weeks, whenever you jumped on, you would have probably surmised that I probably don't have that many friends. I probably don't go out with a lot of people. Or I, don't get me wrong, I have a lot of group, I have a small group of good friends, but I have a big cohort of friends I hang around with um, day, on a day to day basis. I have my own issues with that. We could spend another day. But the kind of the nucleus of this podcast was essentially to allow me to somehow get all these thoughts out of my head and just be able to flush them out stuff that i've been thinking about you know topics that i've been ruminating over stuff i've seen in the news things i've been thinking about in my own life um how i would approach certain situations all these sort of things i kind of wanted to be able to kind of speak about on my podcast have a neutral platform and just be able to get it out to you openly and if anything my main inspirations behind this have always been people like bill burr obviously he does his own solo podcast that he's absolutely fantastic at um joe rogan and of course in recent years tim dylan who's also really good at doing a you know, sort of solo podcast with a couple of guests maybe bouncing off here and there i had there's been, I think on one hand, I can count on one hand the times I've asked people to appear on my podcast. I think only in the last couple of years I've done so. They've mostly been DJs. It's all kind of fallen through. And I've kind of been happy it has fallen through because I still think at the end of the day, this platform or this channel that I have is mostly so you can come and hear what I have to say about certain things so I can kind of relay that back to you people. And in general, I don't really care or enjoy interviewing people um, for the most part. I'm not really big on it in general, especially when it comes to artists. I much prefer to just consume their work, um, consume their artistry in whatever way they want to present it to me and then have a fantasy or an imagination of what they may be like as people. And if I bump into them, I bump into them. But sometimes engaging with people that you look up to, engaging with people that you like, it can sometimes um, be a bad thing, right? They always tell you not to meet your heroes and they say that for a reason. And when you're doing stuff like this, and it's a kind of, you know, it's instantaneous. I just plug in my microphone. I've got a proper expensive one now. I've kind of upgraded from the USB mic they used before. Actually, it's funny. When I first started this, I used to use a dictaphone. I bought like a Sony dictaphone. The whole idea behind it was like, I just wanted to prove to myself that I could get stuff out and ship. I think that was when I was reading um, Seth Godin books and stuff. And he always prioritizes shipping, 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 like getting your work out there. Um, and the other guy too, I forgot what his name is. Oh, I forgot the other book where he talks about it too. But essentially, creative people spend way too much time, you know, dilly dallying, pontificating, procrastinating on an idea instead of just getting out, getting it out in this possible, in this kind of minimalist, viable form as possible. But just getting it out and ready to ship, like similar to what you know Elon does with Tesla and all that kind of stuff, right? They always have a working prototype. It's never just a prototype, just on stage, just for the sake of it. There's always a prototype they can actually sit in and enjoy after the presentation. So the idea behind it is that hey, we're gonna be able to, we're we're planning to ship this. This is not fantasy. So I remember buying a dictaphone from like Argos for like twenty pounds or something and recording 
recording the first, I think, 15 episodes, if you go back to the Axiom Zinger show, from episode number 1 to 15, were basically recorded on a dictaphone. I recorded on a dictaphone, talk about the subject I was talking about while I was reading the stuff on my computer, and I plug it into my computer and then kind of, you know, basically chuck it into um, whatever audio software I was using and then upload it. And that basically said to me, oh, wow, you can do, you know, you can basically put out put out the minimal viable product, get people to engage in that and of course build up as you go along and that's what I've been able to do over the last few years and hopefully I hope that I've improved somewhat from the first episodes to the episodes now um, but yeah it's been a hell of a journey um, again 500 episodes on my own talking to a microphone absolutely nuts it could be seen as some sort of form of uh, mental illness right because I say a lot of the times whenever I see a girl on Instagram with like a whole grid on her feed full of selfies or even a dude sometimes full of just selfies of himself like standing in front of a mirror it sometimes is a cry for help and I think you know maybe having 500 episodes of me ranting and raving into a microphone might be a bit of a cry for help too but you know what you guys are helping me along the way so I'm not bothered that it is that is a cry for help and I just try and get on with it to the best of my ability but yeah thank you so much again for making it a 500 um, episodes to remember I'm really grateful for it there's going to be bigger and brighter things happening in the not so distant future i'm looking at getting a studio i'm looking at again maybe having some more guests on here maybe further down the line mix it up a little bit more interesting um also going to look forward to doing more live streams um specifically on a podcast but more so maybe on the open tab show which i'm having to change now because Bert crash has come back with these open tab show so i don't have the same name because i jacked off him because he stopped doing it but now he's back doing it so i have to change the name of the open tab show the little open, the little live stream that i do so that will obviously be changing as well further down the line but yeah loads of good things coming up in the, on the pipeline of course my youtube channel is always going to grow i'm going to have a few more bits of content editing stuff that i'm going to be doing over the next few um weeks and months of course i've got the patreon going don't have many subscribers on there at the moment backers but again if you want to support that you can in the patreon link down below like i said i'm going to try and do as much bespoke content as there as possible uh, i've got some like scene re- or i've got some like event review sort of thing similar to what would happen on you'd see on like you know the ra resident advisor event reviews the things that i used to love um and kind of live off of back in the day but they're kind of a bit defunct now because all the great writers and resident advisors are left so i kind of do audio versions of them further down the line i'm going to make them a little bit more polished they're going to be some field recordings included there's going to be exclusive clips on there and just kind of bespoke content again movie reviews documentary reviews all that you'll be able to see on the patreon so definitely jump on there so i'm trying to make this as multifaceted as possible and then outside of that of course i've got all the photography stuff going on I'm, I'm developing a bunch of pictures that i'm hoping to put up in an exhibition or some sort of book very very soon um of course the djing stuff is a bit of a pause at the moment i'm not playing in a lot of the, of the bars and pubs i was doing it previously because since the pandemic it looks like no one's really got back to going as they were prior so now i'm probably gonna have to turn the djing thing into like a live stream thing and because live streaming has kicked off in the last few years of course because of the pandemic hopefully i'll be able to use a live stream as a way to kind of showcase my skills and then maybe use that to kind of you know maybe get some bookings in the future so loads of things i'm doing loads of things i'm kind of um dipping my toes into and fingers and all that malarkey and hopefully down the line things should get to where they need to get to but again it's all come off the back of this because i've been able to see myself do this consistently um and do it to a certain standard um and obviously have some sort of viewership behind it even if it's 100 people a thousand i don't mind the fact that people are still watching it shows people like it and if i build and continue doing so little by little over the years the numbers will increase so because i'm seeing that i'm seeing evidence that you know my voice is valid my voice is necessary people like to hear what i have to say they don't like what i have to hear this, what i like what i have to say regardless it's still kind of a good reaction so that should hopefully feed into my other projects and give me you know inspiration to kind of get going with those kind of things so again thank you again for the 500 episode support i really really appreciate it all your support is really really um appreciated highly um messages emails the likes subscribes um you know the downloads of app, whatever whatever you do to, to subscribe and to support me definitely i it doesn't go unnoticed i reply to everybody that asked you send a message through if you ever send a message on dms on the instagram you know i reply back and i'm always kind of on on deck to kind of offer any kind of advice or whatever you need so again thank you for the 500 episode support and i'm just gonna keep on keep it on okay so now we got all that kind of softy wafty thing out of the way I should need to blow my nose as well because, you know, what can you do? Let's jump on in to some other episodes, some topics actually we need to speak about regarding the show. Um, okay, so first things first, I want to talk about, it's not really something 
this is an interesting one, right? So United, of course, lost to Aston Villa over the weekend, right? Aston Villa beat Manchester United at home, which I think for most people who have watched us play this season, especially the last few matches, it shouldn't be a surprise. Most people that watched us play last season also shouldn't be surprised either. And the season before that, because unfortunately, unlike, you know, despite our pretty decent league position finishes, the actual football we play under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer isn't great. And we don't seem to have like a designated or distinguishable style of play. Well, even a style of play that's maybe going to bring out the best in the players that we have available. You know, um, Ole Gunnar 